And Montez, and Montez, the, the last couple years you've had starts, stops, you were going to fight, you weren't going to fight. How has that played on you mentally? And then the second part of the question is how happy are you that, that this is, looks like you're following a fight, get in the ring on Saturday night? Yeah, it was hard, you know, I'm not going to lie, like mentally in the beginning, you know, because they said you might fight next month, next month, and I all the time had to be in, like, fight shape you know I said like I need like six weeks from any given day I was in that kind of shape to, to give me like a date you know so basically it was tough but you know I could manage that and I was thinking yeah it's it's bad timing you know for boxing also everything so yeah you seem to be in really high spirits after going through everything that you went through how have you kept your mental health straight with the cancellations of so many fights as you've had basically uh, you know my family helped a lot you know, they said your day will come. You know, you deserve it. My my fiance always, you know, she been by my side. She always in my training camps. Like I start a lot, but then she comes and helps me out. So and all my team, you know, it's, I'm just blessed and just happy to be here. Tell us what you think about the amateur. You obviously you guys faced off the amateur. Does that mean anything now, or so long ago it means nothing? Uh, it was nine years ago. You know, it doesn't mean nothing. It's only that I was a kid. I didn't have like man strength, and he was in his prime. You know, now I think everything changed and professional small gloves, it's going to be different. You know, Triple G, he got a lot of Mexican fans to love him by talking about and fighting with a Mexican style. Do you feel like you could win over these Mexican fans Saturday night with your style? I have that Mexican style, I have that dog in me, you know, so I think they love my style, you know, and uh, I hope they will be on board with me. Do you think uh, Barrios win both of your fights? That's that's a good fight, you know, unification fight? Yeah, that's for sure, you know. He's like Mexican and, you know, his style fits my style. It, it, the style's made for a good fight also. Yeah. You've had so many opportunities to be in camp after camp after camp. How different will you look to us when we finally get a chance to see you on Saturday night? How have you improved? Oh, I did everything, you know, right. I stayed disciplined, stayed motivated, you know. Like I said, it was hard times, but I said I need to stay, you know, motivated and train hard, you know. And when I just knew that I would be fighting here, I was just like, oh, my God. It's, I, You know, it's I'm just very happy to be here. And when I will go into the ring, I hear the bell. I'll be like, I'll be probably smiling until I get punched in the face. Then I will turn into the mean guy, you know, and start fighting. So that, that sometimes punches wakes me up, you know. So, yeah. Okay. They think they're gonna take me out. They think I'm old. They think I'm father time. They think all these things. But they really don't. Yeah, yeah, it he was, you know, he, he did you what know he was supposed to do, you know, but uh, Jill is in bigger weight division. The Army hadn't fought in a long time. Probably he was so like retired, but he came for a paycheck. And and that's it. That day are tough. Yeah, I saw, you know, it's, it's their personal thing, you know, but I had also with this organization, you know, experience, it was in the best, so I feel for you. Yeah, it's hard, you know, but yeah, the time was, you know, going, 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 but like I said, I was keep training, and I can't change nothing, you know, basically I'm from small country, and boxing change, you know, some things happen, but yeah, it is what it is, I'm not looking to the past, you know, I'm looking to the future.